Once an old minister of the emperor died. The minister was very intelligent, but suddenly he died. So the search for a new minister began. The empire was very big, so it was necessary to have a very intelligent and far-sighted minister to handle it. The search for the most intelligent and intelligent person in the entire kingdom began. For this, various tests were organized throughout the kingdom and various intelligent and thoughtful people were selected from the entire kingdom. And then further difficult tests were taken. And finally, only three selected people were brought to the capital so that the emperor could take their final test. All three were placed in a room in the palace and it was announced by the emperor that tomorrow their final test will be taken and whoever is selected will be declared the minister of the kingdom. But the surprising thing was that in the evening, the whole capital was spreading that which test the emperor is going to take tomorrow. There were discussions about it in the whole city. The emperor wanted to take a very strange test. Tomorrow morning, all three will be locked in a large room in the palace and a big lock will be placed at the door of that room. That lock was made by the mathematicians, workers and engineers of that kingdom. There was no key on that lock. Only a few numbers were written on the lock and a puzzle was hidden in those numbers. Whoever can solve that puzzle will be able to open that lock. Gradually, this thing reached those three that tomorrow all three will be locked in a room and a lock will be placed outside which has no key. Only a few numbers of mathematics are carved on that lock in which a puzzle is hidden. Whoever can solve that puzzle by using those numbers and will be able to open the door and come out of the room will be declared the minister of the kingdom. After hearing this, two of them ran to the market and brought all the books related to the mathematics related to the locks and started studying them. But the third one was the strangest. He did not go anywhere, did not bring any book and went to sleep as soon as it was dark. The other two thought that maybe he has decided not to sit in the exam because of fear or maybe he does not believe that the news is true. But still they did not think it right to miss any opportunity because this was the only chance they would get in their life. They kept reading books all night. They read all the books related to the science of locks. In the morning, the third person woke up and presented those three in front of the king. There they found out that the rumor was true. They were locked in a big room. A lock was placed outside it on which some numbers of mathematics were carved. The king said that whoever can solve the puzzle hidden in these numbers will be able to open the door. And the one who will open the door and come to me first, I will make him my minister. I am waiting for all three of you outside. Saying this, the king left. Those two people who had studied all night, had hidden some books in their clothes. As soon as the door closed, he took out those books and started looking for a solution by writing the numbers written on the lock on a piece of paper. But the third person did not do anything. He closed his eyes and sat quietly in a corner of the room. Seeing him, they both laughed and said, Why did you give up? Do something. Only then something will happen. He felt that he has given up. He is scared and now he does not want to try anything. But his mind was very calm. Stability was shining from his eyes. He did not seem to be worried. He kept sitting. Then suddenly he thought of something. He got up and came to the door and slowly pushed him. And what is this? The door opened. He went out of the room. But those two people were lost in their books. They did not even know that he has gone out of the third room. They only knew when the king came in with the third person and said. Close your books. The one who had to come out, has already left. Seeing this, they were stunned and asked, how did you come out? The king said, the lock was not locked at all. Because the locked lock can be opened. But how will you open the one that has not been locked? This man is the most intelligent of the three of you. Because he introduced the first of wisdom. Before solving the numbers written on the lock, he tried to know whether the lock was locked or not. The same man is actually the most intelligent. Before solving any problem, he should see that the one he is going to solve, whether it is a problem or not. So this man is the most intelligent person in our kingdom. We call him our minister. So friends, what we learn from this story is that whenever we feel that there is a big problem in front of us, then instead of being anxious and looking for a solution to that problem, we should think with a cool mind that the problem I am understanding is actually a problem or not.
This real problem is something else that I cannot see right now. 